All right, and now then, it has been moved and seconded that the Virginia City Merchants Association sponsor a baby contest, huh? <laughs> I say, let's have a turkey shoot. No good. We'd have to hold it outside of town. But no business at all. Mm. And it adds a rowdy element. Mm. Now, I say we should have an oratory contest. It's got class. It's got mm. tone. Oh, we did that in 66. Put the whole town to sleep. How about a pie-eating contest? Now, fierce overhead, all them pies. Now, I don't see the slightest objection to us having a baby contest. Hmm? Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, according to Lon here, the one they had over in Grover's Creek, just did absolute wonders for business. Oh, there was some kind of problem they had, but I don't recall it. Well, we'd have to explore all the possibilities, Bert. Oh, we, we, we could have a horse race. Outside of town. Wouldn't help business. Rowdy element. I'll call the question. Come on, I got customers waiting. <laughs> now then, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Motion is carried. Now, the first thing we got to do is to get some judges. Well, we could probably get Jim Pender. Nine kids of his own. That ought to make him some kind of an expert. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rufus, I am appointing you to the committee for lining up the judges. I got to get back to the shop. Yeah, good, good, good. Try and get an extra one, will you? Now, bachelors are preferred. Oh, I can probably get Charlie Spears. Oh, that'd be fine. That'd be fine. That'd be just fine. Well, now, I'm ready to entertain a motion for adjournment. We, uh, uh... Yeah. Meeting is adjourned. Hey, Haas. Haas, hold up a minute. Oh, hi, Rubens. I was hoping to meet up with you. We just, yeah? we just had a meeting in there. Good fact. We're going to have a baby contest. Oh, that's good. How'd you like to be a judge? Me? I, I saw it out of my land. Oh, oh, there's nothing to it. Yeah? You come into town a week from Saturday, stroll along and look at the babies, vote for whichever one suits your fancy, acknowledge the applause and so forth, and it's a real service to the community. Well, well, I'll see you later, Lon. Oh, Bert, hmm? I just remembered what that problem was over in Grover's Creek. The judges had an awful time. Really? Awful, like... There was all kinds of pressure, bribery, threats. Oh, feelings were running pretty high, huh? Oh, well, one judge was took down with a nervous affliction, and I believe there was some talk of actual bloodshed. Well, that's just what we want, Lon. We want to get folks' interest. You know, it seems to me that we might have ourselves a real Jim Dandy of a fundraiser, eh? <laughs> <laughs> guess what happened to me today. Not in a million years. You're going to judge a baby contest. How'd you know that? Hop Singh told us. <laughs> How'd he know it? They, they just voted on it, and I rode straight here without telling us old. How'd he know that? He read it in a cookie. How'd you know that? A word travel fast. Come, come. <laughs> Mr. Horse Cartwright, I'd like you to meet my cousin, Hop Singh. How are you, ma'am? Happy to meet you. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, she first a cousin, Lim Toy. Uh, this, Ah Ping. Oh, uh, second oh, oh, oh. cousin. How do you do? Oh, I'm fine. Happy to meet them. Uh, Mr. Hoss, you take a closer look. Put out finger. Let him play with it. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps the most beautiful baby in all Virginia City. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm saying, I think you're trying to influence me. Oh. Uh, just help make up mine. Face fat, our ping, most beautiful. That's shameful. 
No offense to you, ma'am. I'm happy to meet you and see your lovely baby, but hop saying I will not be influenced. I'll make up my mind the day of the contest. Until then, I'll remain completely impartial. Cha 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 cha. Don't worry, I fix. I show him partial. Can you imagine that? He tried to sway me. <laughs> well, I'm afraid you're going to come across a lot of that. Uh, I don't know why. That was the same reason Hop Singh tried to get to you. Ah, oh, this whole thing's just for fun. It's just a jolly occasion. I can't really see anybody getting serious about the whole thing. <laughs> judge the contest. Well, that, that's true. Me and Jim Pender and Charlie Spears. Oh, of course. But I don't doubt that you'll be the backbone, the mainstay of the judging. I'd like your opinion as to... Uh, Miss Porter, I gotta tell you what I've told the other ladies. I can't look at that baby. I can't even discuss that contest. I gotta keep myself plumb impartial. Admirable. Totally admirable. Hello, Jamie. Oh, hello, man. I hear the pants. Yeah. Come on, Jamie. Let's go. Oh. Day, ladies. Okay. Bye, Bye. Bye. Would you excuse me a moment? Mm -hmm. Tiresome man. Mm. He wouldn't even look at Michael. He insisted I put Jennifer in the other room while he was here. You're entering the child? I suppose, yes. <coughs> I never was too clear on the relationship. <coughs> I'm her guardian. <coughs> I want to uh, a dress for Michael. Your prettiest pattern out of that material. With a little white collar. And edge it with this lace. And down the front and on the wrist. <coughs> what are the other women having made? Nothing quite like this. <coughs> Edith Medcalf and Roseanne Tate? No, not this elaborate. Good. A pretty frame helps a pretty picture. I want Michael to have the finest clothes in the contest. I think he will. <laughs> that includes Jennifer. I don't expect my dressmaker's child to show up in something finer than I'm paying for. Is that clear, Miss Summers? Yes. I intend to win. <laughs> Show me some patterns.
information that you ought to be officially aware of if you're going to do your job properly. All right, that's all right. This is strictly confidential. Yeah. Clara, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. You're doing no more than my simple duty. Passing on malicious gossip like that. Then why does Edith Weston always keep her child covered from head to toe? I ain't gonna listen to more of that. Can you walk all right? Oh, yeah, yeah, I can manage it. Jim, here's your hat. Oh, oh thank, you. thank you, thank you. You got it all straight now, out of oak. Oh, yes, yeah, yes, indeed, uh-huh. We don't like doing this, Jim, but, you know, we had to do it on kind of rose in. Uh -huh. Oh, listen, you don't have to tell me anything about women. <laughs> no hard feelings. Oh, oh, no, 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 listen, uh, no, no, okay. no. <laughs> Ready? Oh, good. That Bernard, can you fix this for me before the contest, Elaine? Expect? You sound mad as a hornet. Well, I am dead burn women anyhow. You're quite right. Huh? Women. Are you sure you'd like to kiss me? Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Hey, what's the matter? You're not very interested. I'm sure I am. You don't sound like it. Well, I am. How much? Oh, uh, quite a bit. A whole lot. All right. What's wrong? You didn't say when you'd do it. This afternoon? Promise? Cross my heart. Much like you. Well, that's natural, my sister's baby. <laughs> oh, of course, your sister's child. I hope it's short enough. I want his cute little feet to show. She's dead? Mm hmm. In childbirth. I'm sure I told you about it, Mrs. Porter, when I brought Jennifer back. From Sacramento? Mm hmm. What about the father? Strikes me he should be taking care of his own child. He's a drunkard. She's better off with me. When you make the bonnet, cut it so that it frames his face and doesn't cover it. So everyone can see what a beautiful child he is. All right. What was your sister's married name? Bayfield. Hmm. It's really very nice. I have relatives in Sacramento, you know. Oh. I'll pick the dress up with the bonnet. <laughs> I 
going to send a telegram to Sacramento. Bert, I thought we had this deal all worked out. Uh, yes, but in looking over the contract, there were one or two little points. Well, let's get them cleared up. Uh, you know my son, Bert Jr., don't you? Oh, yes. Yeah, but I don't think you have ever seen my new little granddaughter, Millicent. Well, what's this got to do with the contract? Uh, nothing. And on the other hand, everything. Ben, I don't quite know how to go about this. Well, let me help you. My son, Haas, is judging a baby contest. Well, then let's get down to cases. Oh. Don't look like there's been no woman-type females around. Uh oh, just a minute. I'll go check inside. Yeah, good idea. Get this stuff unloaded. Oh, well, here, I can take care of the supplies, Hoss. No trouble. Yeah? Yeah. Well, I can do any other chores you'd like me to handle also. I and mean, swamp out the stable, chop some firewood, anything at all. You, uh, you feeling all right? Yeah, just fine. Yeah? You know, all the way back from town, you didn't open your mouth. Didn't I? No. If you ain't sick, you got something on your mind. What is it? Well, I, you know that girl in town, Kathy. Yeah. Yeah, well, you see, she's got this brother. Is he giving you trouble? Oh, no, no, that, that's her other brother. I, I'm talking about her little brother. Oh. How and little? He's a baby. Ah. Yeah, but and he's, he's real... pretty, and he's beautiful, and he's sweet, and he's nice, and all them things, right? <laughs> yeah, how'd you know? Yeah, because every baby in town is all of a sudden. That's how come. I don't know what kind of female wild she's pulling on you. But... Real nice. Well, you just tell her it didn't take, you hear? I ain't going to be influenced, got to, or taken by nobody under no circumstance. You understand that? Yeah, Stop. you can sit... I don't want to hear no more about it, Jamie. That's it. But, Hoss... Hans... No, I don't go here. Oh, you can't believe what's going on in town with the folks about that baby contest. Oh, I think I do it, Hoss. Bert Rubush put the pressure on me to persuade you to vote for his grandchild. Is that a fact? Mm -hmm. Well, I, I wish there was something I could do about it, Paul, but I can't. Well, there's no need. I just told him I didn't do business that way. Yeah, good. It's just hard to believe that human beings can act like that. You'd be surprised. Well, you can't imagine what some of them women are, are telling me about other women's babies. It's just terrible. It's awful. Hoss, maybe it'd be an idea for you to just withdraw. No, that wouldn't be no good. They'd just get somebody else, and he'd probably be, be influenceable. Hey, Tessie's got that brood mare out back. Oh, yeah? How does she look? Well, I think you ought to take a look at her. Well, I'll do that just before supper. Dad, burn it anyhow. What's the matter, brother? You got trouble? Yeah. Hey, Joe, I ask you, what do folks take me for anyhow? Well, that's hard to say. Why, you'd, you'd think that they figured I had no more backbone than a willow branch in a windstorm. Oh, a baby contest, huh? Yeah, I've been cussed, coaxed, begged, barred, lied, zoo, stole, as if any of that kind of treatment made me make up my mind before the contest. <laughs> oh, you got too much character for that. Yeah. I'm glad you see that. That's one of the things that's always made me proud to have you as a brother. Integrity. <laughs> Thanks, Joe. It's the backbone of a man, integrity. Yeah. Got a hundred dollar prize in that contest, huh? Yeah. It's a lot of money, huh? Sure is. <clears throat> nice if uh, somebody really needed it, won it. You, uh, got somebody in particular in mind? No. Well, just making a statement to be nice if whoever won it was somebody that needed it. <laughs> oh. Good. I guess I'm just getting a little gun shot. That's all, Joe. I'm sorry. Of course, there is the Widow Cumberland. <laughs> I, mean, uh -huh. I knew it. Look, I just said a name. I didn't mean anything. Well, I can think of at least nine deserving people, like, like Elaine Summers, for example. All right, all right, forget it. I didn't mean anything by it. Supper lady. Supper lady, gentlemen. Well, Touchy. good. After that mutton hash last night, I need a decent meal. Yeah, that Tommy Cameron happens to be a cute kid. Oh, will you get off of that? Okay. Meryl, it's pretty good. Hey. 
Mutt and hash again, Paul. I got a life. Well, I hate it. I know. You like pig steak, hash brown potato, hot apple pie with curry? That's right. Can have. When you vote for our ping. Otherwise, mutton hash. Well, I ain't a eating mutton hash. I ain't gonna be influenced at no cost. Well, I better be heading on home. Same here. Supper's probably burned to a frazzle. <laughs> You're lucky. All I got to look forward to is hard words and cold mush. I'm gonna have another drink. Same here. Hello, boss. Howdy. Hey. What's the matter with all these fellas, anyhow? Oh, a variety of things, but most of them, their whole life's all tore up because of this baby contest. Ain't that too bad. Bring me a big T-bone, some potatoes, and a big slab of apple pie, huh? Sure, it's great for business. Say, Hoss, I hear the baby contest's a boat race. What's that supposed to mean? Well, the word's out you've been fixed. Would you hear a thing like that? Well, it's common talk in the Chinese community. Well, it's a lie. Straight goods? You know me better than that. Thanks. Gents, I'll cover all bets on the baby contest. How can you set odds on a thing like that? Well, it's like a maiden horse race where you look at the sire and the dam. <laughs> Only in this case, you consider the parents. Huh. Sounds reasonable. <laughs> Not to me, it don't. I've never seen this town so worked up about anything. You think this is bad? You just wait till it's all over. We're gonna have one winner. We're gonna have a whole bunch of weeping women. But it has been very good for business. I hate to tell you how bad it has been for my marriage. The whole town's accusing us of cheating, having our own kids entered in the contest. Yeah, yeah. The sponsors, we just should have had better sense. Oh, well, next time we'll know better. As far as I'm concerned, there ain't gonna be no next time. Wouldn't have helped none. Our women folk would have talked us into it anyway. Kind of reminds me of a story I learned once in school. I don't remember no story about no baby contest in school. Oh, no, this is about some Greek goddess, a nasty female who put up a golden apple for the most beautiful woman. Well, that caused so much trouble, it started the Punic War and the founding of Rome. No, 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 no. That, that was the Trojan War and the destruction of Troy. Oh, whatever. But the point is, it was the women done it. Yeah, well, it's the men that's putting the pressure on me at the moment. Yeah, and I bet behind every single one of them, there was some woman. That's right. But them that put up the golden apple is a bunch of greedy men. Well, we got to keep the economy moving somehow. It's just up to us men to keep the women under control. Why, Lon, as I recall, you're a bachelor. Now, some of these married men might find that a bit more difficult than you. Twenty-five to one for my kids? Mm-hmm. Those are awful long odds. I think they're fair, considering. I think you just assaulted my wife. Oh, no, no, no. She's a fine-looking lady. And you insulted me. Yeah, I was just looking for a peaceful place to get a bite to eat. Well, how does a slab of roast, taters, and pie sound to you? What? That sounds mighty fine to me. Well, you just come right on in. We were just getting ready to dig in. Yeah? We'll fix you up. Thank you. 
getting harder and harder to be impartial around here. Hang Sissy Porter. What is worth $10.75? A new baby bunting. Some ribbon. Will you please come to bed? How can you sleep at a time like this? In the name of mercy, Edith. What do you want me to do? Oh, you nearly fried me to death, huh? Well, serves you right, sneaking around here in the kitchen at this time of night. Well, I was just hungry. Well, if you'd eat your supper like you're supposed to, you wouldn't be running around here like a pack rat. I got an excuse. I, I ain't eaten since dinner. Look, if you're going to hang around, might as well give us some light. <laughs> you bet. What happened to you? Who ran into you? Uh, Tate Brothers. All three of them? Yeah. Well, I wish I'd have been there. Must have been a whopper. Well, nothing to it. Should have known better than trying to influence me like that. The baby contest again? Yeah. Seems like that's all that's on people's mind nowadays. And there ain't no end to what they'll go to to try to get my vote. I guess you got an apology coming. Well, they apologized all right. <laughs> no, not them. Me. For what? Well, you know, I tried to get you to vote for Kathy's little brother like that. Oh, you know, you ought not to have done that, Jamie. Yeah, I know. I'm awful sorry, Hoss. Well, I figure she must have put some kind of real pressure on you. She sure did. Still a mistake, though. Yes, sir. But nothing to worry too much about. I mean, man's got to learn by his mistakes, ain't he? That's right. I mean. He ought to do what's right if he takes Hyatt off his back. That's right, right. No matter how much pressure is put on him. Right. I mean, it's immoral for a man to, to put pressure on another man for his own selfish reasons. That's right. Of course, old Kathy's little brother has a cute little tag, ain't he? But that, you see, you're putting pressure on me wouldn't have made me vote for him. No, sir, it sure wouldn't have. Well, there's a bright side to everything, Jamie. You learned a good lesson, didn't you, boy? Yes, sir, I sure did. <laughs> good. You know, he is kind of cute, ain't he? <laughs> yeah. Then you think you might vote for him, Hollis? Will you tell him, or shall I? You'll have to do your own dirty work, Mrs. Porter. Hello, Hoss. Howdy, Miss Porter. Lane, somebody said you want to see me. Not really, Hoss. It was my suggestion. I sent a telegram to my uncle in Sacramento a few days ago. I got this answer back from him this morning. Somebody named Bayfield. What's this all about? Bayfield was her sister's name. Presumably. You recall Elaine left town rather suddenly a year ago? Yeah, when her sister had the baby. In Sacramento. Right. Then she came back six months ago with a baby girl. Well, yeah, I remember. Her sister passed away, and... So Elaine claims. But my uncle tells me that there is no record of any marriage in Sacramento involving anyone by the name of Bayfield. Or a death. Or the birth of a child. Well, well somebody just made a mistake, that's all. Somebody did. Elaine. Little Jennifer is her child, born out of wedlock. I don't believe that. If I should tell that story to the first lady I meet, show her this telegram, all of Virginia City would know about it and believe it inside of an hour. Why would you want to do a thing like that? I mean, just spreading malicious gossip. There ain't no point. But there is. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Unless my son Michael wins first prize in the baby contest.
This ain't my house, but I'm taking the liberty. Get out of here. You get out of here right now and don't you ever come back. Now go on, get out of here. You can't mistake him. He'll be wearing a blue organdy dress. It's the only one in town. She'd have to leave Virginia City. At the very least. This ain't that dad burned his carrion zone I ever heard tell of. She, she could ruin you and little Jennifer with that lie. It's not a lie, Hoss. I never had a sister. I never had a husband. But I do have Jennifer. Well, that's... That's all that really counts, isn't it? To me, it is. I thought I had it all worked out so she'd have a decent, proper life. Now it looks like the sins of the mother will be visited upon her poor, innocent head. All because of a dad burned baby contest. We gotta call this whole thing off. No question about it, it has really gotten out of hand. Well, I wish we could, but we've done all this business. Our folks have spent their money. If we call this contest off at the last minute, it'll cause no end of trouble. Saw what happened in the saloon the other night. Everybody is all stirred up. Well, we should have took the ladies into account. They turned this whole thing into a regular alley cat fracas. I, I could quit. Yeah, yeah, Hush, you could quit. That would leave it up to Charlie Spears. He took the hide. And Jim Pender. He took to his bed. Neither one of them are exactly a pillar of strength, are they? Well, whatever your problem is, Hoss, you are the only one that can decide whether quitting will solve it. No, I reckon it wouldn't. Hop saying! Is it Hoss? Oh, hi, Paul. Something wrong? Yeah. Can I help? Boy, I don't even want to talk about it now. Happy pleasure to welcome you all here today on behalf of the uh, Virginia City Merchants Association. Uh -huh. <laughs> now, uh, uh, as you all know, we are gathered here today to select the most beautiful baby in all of Virginia City. Uh, and, and the first prize is $100. Uh, and this uh, rather charmingly uh, engraved, loving cop. Yes, now, 
uh, if um, all you ladies and parents will, will kindly place your babies in those uh, numbered baskets that we have lined up uh, across the room. Just place your babies in the baskets, and then uh, we'll uh, get started. <laughs> Uh, play, uh, please. <laughs> Problem. You ought not to be drained at a time like this. I'm scared. Look. You see that big fella out there in the red shirt? The one with the bull whip? Yeah. That's my cousin, Talker Anderson. He's gonna flog me. The Tate brothers are gonna beat me up, and Milo Stevens is gonna keep my cattle from water. That's a good problem. You boys ready? Yeah, we're ready as we're ever gonna be. Come on, boys, let's get it over with. Come on. Here are our judges. Now, if you uh, ladies and parents will just step back, just step back from the baskets, so the judges can have a good, clear look. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Something. Um, should we discuss or vote? Uh, let's vote. Uh, you first. Anderson. Tate. Pause. It's just no use, boys. It's got to be unanimous. Uh, let's go again. You first. Uh, uh, Stevens. Anderson. Now, uh, come on, Charlie. At least I showed that I was willing to change. But I ain't willing to get myself horse whipped. You're both making me sick. You're just voting where the pressure's been put on you, that's all. Now, horse is right. Now, let, let's just put the pressures out of our mind all together. Now, let's just vote for the most beautiful baby. Right, right. right. Let the chips fall where they may. Very good. Uh, Tate. Now, there you go again. Well, maybe I really and truly think Rosie Ann Tate's baby is the most beautiful. About the same way I think talkers is. Wait a minute, wait a minute, boys. There's got to be a right honest and honorable way out of this somehow. Well, um, suppose that we eliminate everybody that's put pressure on us? It's worth a try. Go look out. That eliminates over two. Uh, Grogan's kid. And the dressmaker's baby. Yeah, and there's a reason I can't vote for that baby. Uh, you, then there's a winner. We give it to Grogan's kid. Uh, uh, wait a minute. 
Let, let's go back out there and look one more time just to make sure, huh? Fanfare. Oh. And now, here are the judges with the verdict. Not yet, Bert. Not yet. We want to take one more look. Just one more, huh? Now, Hoss, you got to start boating. I'm just looking for justice, boys, that's all. Justice? I'd settle on not getting killed. What's holding you up? The crowd's getting awful restless. Well, we're working on it. Maybe we could uh, report like a, like a hung jury. Hung? That, 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 that's very good. I'll tell you what we're going to do, boys. We're going to vote, and we're going to vote honest. No, no, there ought to be a smarter way out of it than that. Things ain't that bad. Are they? They are. Now remember, it's got to be the most beautiful baby, and it's got to be honest. It's got to be unanimous, too. Very well, gentlemen. Let's go. And now, here's the verdict. Well, we've reached the verdict, all right, but before I tell you what it is, I got a few things I want to say to you. First of all, I ain't never in all my years in Virginia City seen or heard so much backbiting and blackmailing and badmouthing that's took place the last few days over this, this baby contest. So help me, I can't see anybody out there that ought not to be plumb ashamed of themselves for some of the things they've done to win this contest. Let me tell you something. All kids are winners. All babies are beautiful. That is until their parents get a hold of them and start teaching them to cheat and lie and, and hurt their fellow humans, which is whatever one of you apparently is going to do from the way you've been acting here lately. If it's left up to me, I'd give a prize to every one of the babies, but I sure wouldn't give none to none of the parents. You're going to have an awful hard time, some of you, facing your neighbors the next few days. And you're even going to have a rougher time facing your young'uns when they grow up and find out what you've done to win this here trophy. Well, we've... We've done what you ask us to do. We've voted, and we've voted honest. And we've come to a decision. And we find the most beautiful baby to be... Michael Porter. Uh, congratulations, Sissy. Thank you, Bert. Uh, I am uh, so very grateful for the honor which has been done me of having my son, Michael, officially recognized as the most beautiful baby in Virginia City. This is the proudest and, and happiest moment of my life.
I don't care. I don't. I've got the prize. Good. Hang on to it. I suppose you'll want this. You kept your part of the bargain. You really can't believe that we voted honestly, can you? I mean, you really don't believe that your baby is the prettiest. Well, of course he is. I know that. No, you don't. Not really. If you did, then you wouldn't have done all of this to see to it that he won the contest. That's sort of sad. I hope you keep this from Michael. If you ever found out about it, I'm afraid he'd think about as much of his mother as I do. Enjoy your trophy. Oh. Probably won't be needing this, but just in case. Thank you, Horace. For everything. What was that all about? Just a little matter of simple justice. I'll explain it over supper. Oh, good. Didn't take your mind off the mutton hash. Oh, no. He wouldn't. Well, Hop Singh has his own ideas about justice. Well, he would.